Rim Country News brought to you by Christine Croak, your Rim Country real estate expert. And by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill, a historic stopping spot since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Monday, February 15th, Washington's birthday, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News Headlines. Well, law enforcement has been staying busy keeping dangerous drugs off our streets. It seems our highways through Payson and Rim Country are increasingly seeing significant amounts of illegal drugs coming through our community. Well, this was witnessed in a rather profound way over the past few days as local arrest here took more than three and a half million dollars worth of illegal drugs off the street, as well as the three men who were transporting those drugs. Well, Sheriff Adam Shepard uh, released the following information regarding these arrests, and uh, boy, I tell you what, they're pretty significant, especially in such a small town as Payson. First, on February 11th, the Gila County Drug Gang and Violent Crimes Task Force conducted a drug investigation in collaboration with the Arizona Department of Public Safety. Now at about 8.32 in the evening on the 11th, the Gila County Drug Gang and Violent Crimes Task Force attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle at 910 South Beeline Highway in Payson. Now during this traffic stop, uh, they say uh, during the investigation that is, indicators of criminal activity were observed. As a result, a task force canine was deployed for a drug sniff of the vehicle. As a result of that drug sniff, a search of the vehicle was conducted and 100,000 narcotic pills laced with fentanyl were found inside the vehicle. Now, officials say the fentanyl pills seized have a street value of two and a half million dollars. As a result of that investigation, one suspect was arrested and booked into the Gila County Jail in Payson. Mauricio Campos Ruiz, age 25 of Phoenix, was charged with a number of different charges, including transportation of a narcotic drug for sale, transportation of a narcotic, uh, or rather possession of a narcotic drug for sale, possession of a narcotic drug times two, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Well, strangely, earlier that same day, the Gila County Drug Gang and Violent Crimes Task Force conducted another drug investigation in collaboration with the Arizona Department of Public Safety. Now in this one, this was at about 548 in the evening, the task force attempted to conduct a traffic stop on State Route 87 at its intersection with Bonita Street here in Payson. That's when the vehicle fled and attempted to evade law enforcement. The vehicle fled to an area behind the Bashes grocery store at the intersection of 87 and 260 in Payson. And officials say that's where the vehicle stopped and where one subject was arrested. A second suspect fled from the traffic stop in an attempt to hide in a wooded area north of the Basha Shopping Center. Well, canine units from the task force, sheriff's office, and members of the Arizona Department of Public Safety began an area search in an effort to locate that suspect. The canine units were able to locate the second suspect, who was also taken into custody. During a search of the vehicle, approximately 50,000 narcotic pills laced with fentanyl were found inside a suitcase in that vehicle. Those fentanyl uh, fentanyl pills seized there had a street value of $1,250,000. Now, as a result of the investigation, Two suspects were booked into the Gila County Jail in Payson. 36-year-old Miguel Angel Lopez Valenzuela of Phoenix was arrested for transportation of a narcotic drug for sale, possession of a narcotic drug for sale, possession of a narcotic drug, and possession of drug paraphernalia, as well as unlawful flight from law enforcement. 25-year-old Jesus Acosta of Phoenix was also arrested on similar charges. The sheriff's office is committed, they say, in continuing an aggressive stance on the drug problem that impacts our communities and is committed to the strong working relationship with our state and municipal partnerships 
in combating the drug problem. Now, Sheriff uh, Shepard said he also wanted to thank uh, Arizona DPS, the task force, and the Payson Police Department for their collaborated efforts in these investigations. Sheriff Shepard also wanted to say thank you to the Arizona Criminal Justice Commission for their continued funding of the Gila County Drug Gang and Violent Crimes Task Force, which makes operations such as these possible. Well, taking a look at other news from around Rim Country, firefighters on the Payson Ranger District will be conducting several pile burn operations throughout this week. Now, the purpose, they say, of these burns is to reduce the potential and severity of a wildfire for the safety of the public and for the protection of natural resources. Now, uh, a couple of different prescribed burns, again, going on this week, or at least being planned to go on this week. The first is in the Washington Park area, and that burn will either happen Tuesday or Wednesday, the 16th or 17th. Firefighters are expected to conduct a one-day operation to eliminate eight acres of vegetative debris piles in that area. They say residents and visitors to the area can expect to see and smell light to moderate amounts of smoke during that one-day operation. During the day, smoke is expected to impact Washington Park. Residual smoke during the evening hours uh, may also not only impact Washington Park, but also the Rim Trail area as well. Work will also be being done at the Geronimo Boy, uh, Geronimo Boy Scout camp either on Wednesday or Thursday. And firefighters say that's also a one-day operation that is poised to eliminate 30 acres of vegetative debris piles. Residents up there can expect to see and smell light to moderate smoke during that one-day operation. And uh, during the day and evening hours, smoke is expected to impact the Boy Scout camp it will also impact Geronimo Estates during the evening hours. Residual smoke, they say, may linger in that area for a few days and will also impact the Weber Creek drainage area. Now, it's important to note that vegetative debris piles weigh anywhere from a half a ton to a ton and a half each. Now, the objective for these uh, two prescribed fire treatments is to eliminate up to 30 tons per acre of dangerous fuels before ignitions begin, they say, prescribed fire treatments are always dependent upon things like opti you know, optimal conditions, uh, things like wind speed, direction, temperature, fuel moisture, content, uh, relative humidity, and some other variables as well. Now, several pile burns have also been planned on the Payson and Pleasant Valley Ranger districts to reduce the risk of wildfires in those areas as well. For more information about these burning operations, you can contact the Payson District Ranger Station at 928-474-7900 or follow them on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. And finally, the Pleasant Valley Historical Society, with the help of a, a host of volunteers, well, they're recreating the old Graham cabin that was built by the Tewksburys back in the late 1800s. Now, you'll remember the names Grahams and Tewksburys as being key players in the Pleasant Valley War back in the late 1800s. Now, the original cabin is on John Augustine's ranch, but had deteriorated down to uh, just a row of logs uh, outlining where it was originally built. Well, John negotiated a deal to have these old hand-hewn logs donated for the project. Chuck Freegard has studied the original build through pictures and remnants that still remain. The logs are laid on a rock foundation that Chuck cemented together. It is slowly coming together and will be yet another great reason for everyone to get out to our southeast and visit all that young and pleasant valley has to offer and some great history over there being preserved by some pretty great people. So hats off for that effort. A good one indeed. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, you can look for a bit warmer temperatures and partly cloudy skies during the day today. Gusty west to southwest winds will develop this afternoon, that ahead of an approaching storm. Later tonight and on Tuesday, snow showers will be spread across much of our region. We'll let you know what you can expect coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. Hi, reflecting on 2020, this year has presented challenges, devastation, and extraordinary circumstances that will forever change all of our lives. I am more than ever thankful and grateful for my loving family, 
living in a community that supports and takes care of each other, the collaboration that happens with our small businesses and our non-profits are selfless, generous, and heartfelt. A special thanks to our town staff, the first responders who are dedicated to our community, and lastly, so grateful and thankful for my clients, personal referrals, new friendships, thankful for my assistant Sarah, my marketing team, title mortgage companies, local and state realtors that I've had the privilege of working with. Wishing you all Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. I appreciate you all from my heart. Many blessings, stay safe for 2021. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake's started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hello, this is Brian Bowman. We have Pace and Tire Pros and Automotive. And one of the best things about having a business in town is the local community. Uh, we found Terlucas and Brandt to do our taxes. Amy's been a critical component for our business to be successful. We are very thankful for them and their professionalism. So if you're looking to have somebody do your taxes and you want to find somebody good that's Willing to work with you, Amy is awesome. Terlucas and Brandt is who we suggest. Well, taking a look at Rim Country weather, a dry west to northwest flow aloft will be the dominant feature across northern Arizona today. The result will be a bit warmer temperatures under partly cloudy skies. However, westerly winds will be on the increase during the afternoon hours today ahead of a short wave trough. Now, afternoon winds today can generally be expected in the 10 to 20 mile an hour range, gusting up to 30 miles an hour in some areas. Later tonight through Wednesday, the short wave trough will blast across Arizona from the northwest. Now, large scale upward motion will be weak with this system, but ample moisture will combine along with upsloping westerly flow to produce decent snow amounts in favored locations. Now, as a result, snow showers will develop later this evening, mainly along the Utah border, and then rapidly spread across the area on Tuesday, mainly from the Mugion Rim and White Mountains northward. The main focus of this system will be over the Chuska Mountains, Black Mesa, and the uh, White Mountains areas, from uh, three to six inches of snow is possible, uh, and even some higher amounts in locations such as uh, Buffalo Pass and the highest peaks over in the White Mountains. And they can be expecting over there anywhere from eight to 10 inches uh, to accumulate uh, very possibly with this next storm system. A winter weather advisory is in effect tonight and Tuesday for portions of Northern Arizona. Other locations such as Heber, Flagstaff, and the Grand Canyon could see just one or two inches of snow accumulation. Now, winds tonight will generally be west and northwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Uh, that's again tonight and on Tuesday. Drier air will move in on Wednesday behind the short wave, uh, mostly uh, putting an end to any precipitation threat, except for a, maybe a few snow flurries over along the New Mexico border on Wednesday. Now, winds will shift to a northerly flow 10 to 20 miles an hour on Wednesday behind that trough, and it will be a bit colder with high temperatures mainly in the 30s up in the mountains and the 40s in the, to lower 50s in the lower elevation valley locations. Now, the coldest day this week is expected to be Wednesday. Then, from Thursday onward, the forecast model finally calls for some consensus that a drive west to northwest flow will set up across Arizona, 
What that means is uh, the result is going to be moderating temperatures and dry conditions with occasional higher level clouds and gusty winds associated with some passing disturbances. But here in Payson today, well, you can expect mostly sunny skies with a few light breezes and high, temp and high uh, expected to be right around 51 degrees. Now, things uh, change a bit tonight, though, with Payson having a 20% chance for a few light snow showers and our low right at freezing tonight. So again, a good chance for some white stuff even here in Payson. Tomorrow, we'll have a 40% chance for some rain-snow mix throughout the day uh, before things clear out Tuesday night and are expected to stay that way all the way through Sunday. Temperatures will gradually warm up a bit each day as our highs finally get back into the 60s once again by this coming Friday. Highs and lows around rim country today, well, they should look something like this. Up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes today, they should see a high near 43, with tonight's low with some snow showers falling down around 23 degrees. Roads up there are expected to get pretty icy tonight, so if you are expected to head up on top of the rim, make sure you plan for some extra travel time. Our neighbors up in the Pine Strawberry area can expect a high warming up today to around 44 with a low tonight near 25. Over in Young, their forecast for a high today getting up to 52 with tonight's low still pretty chilly dipping down to near 27 degrees. Down in Tano Basin, our neighbors down there today are expecting to see a high of 61 and with just mostly cloudy skies down there today, it looks like they should see a low tonight near 41. Now, their chance for precipitation doesn't really hit there until tomorrow, and that's when they'll have about a 40% chance for some rain showers down in Tano Basin. Well, today, if you're headed all the way down uh, to southern Gila County, the folks down in Globe today, their forecast for a high today of 56 with a low tonight of 39. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For KRIM Radio News, Tano TV, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. Make it a great Monday. Happy birthday, George Washington even though your real birthday isn't until later this month. Oh, well. Woohoo! Have a good one.